Alright guys, day three of the eviction process. We finished day three. We, we finished yesterday the front of the house. Everything's out, everything's clean. Looks like a brand new property. And now we came over here. We just needed to help the owner clean up the back of the property. Not only does this home, this defendant, not really homeowner anymore, the defendant absolutely destroyed the inside of the house. He was also destroying the outside of the house. As you can see, he was basically using it as a mechanic shop, storage, just random, random crap everywhere. Didn't cut the grass. And um, he was probably bothering the neighbors so much that the lady actually came out and was like, hey, do you guys wanna use my driveway? So, so <laughs> we can get this stuff out here quicker. Um, you know, me, Ricardo, the whole team, we are people. We, we do feel bad in certain situations. I don't think that we feel bad on this one just because we saw how bad the guy treated this property. So we're glad that we can help out the homeowner, that we can clean this place up, and uh, we'll be here the rest of the day doing just that. Uh, it's currently, I think, like 9.30. Um, we'll, we'll see when we're done. We'll catch y'all in a little bit. How long do you think it'll take us, brother? Mm, between me and you? I want to say we'll be here about half a day, like four hours. Four hours. We should have this place cleaned up pretty well. Pretty okay, well. cool. Yeah. Junk Guys DFW, let's knock it out, guys. Well, we're back at it again today. We started actually, like Orson said, at 9.30 in the morning. But let me tell you, this backyard was a real jungle. We were talking about mounds of debris, trash, and even some unexpected finds. Believe it or not, buried in all this mess were tons of tools, skill saws, drills, hammers, you name it new and used and and we were able to score some cash from the scrap metal and keep some of those beauties for ourselves if you know what i'm talking about now originally this cleanup would have cost the homeowner four thousand dollars but hey you know what we cut deals and since he already had paid me the day before ten thousand dollars i knocked it down to a cool two thousand dollars but don't worry it was a good deal but let me tell you the Texas heat was no joke. We were out there sweating buckets from 9.30 all the way to 4.30. A long day for sure. But hey, you don't often make, often make $12,000 in just three days, right guys? We pushed through, we stepped up, and we'll show you the tools we salvaged and how we dealt with all that scrap metal. Stay tuned for another video coming soon from The Junk Guy.